an alien landed in the planet Earth and uh, with, a, with a one purpose, that is to buy brains. He wants a brain so that he can study it and back in his own planet. So he went around and went to a shop that sells brain and he said, uh, do you have brain? They said, yes, we have plenty of brain. So the owner of the shop showed him all the different kind of brain. He said, how much is this one? He said, well, this one is $50. And he said, uh, how about that one over there? He said, well, that one is $500. He said, what's the difference? He said, well, uh, this is $50 is women's brain. And this $100 is men's brain. And the alien said, why so much different? They just look the same to me. And the owner of the shop said, uh, the men's brain is cheaper, because, uh, more expensive, because it is hardly used. Of course, this is a, a gender joke. There's not much difference between the male and the female brain. Uh, they both created to make us successful. And uh, so, because the brain is what makes us successful, let, let's just look at the brain uh, very quickly, so to get some understanding of this. The human brain are the most advanced brain on Earth. It is uh, the most complicated, and it is uh, the most specialized. But the human brain, when you look at the, uh, the composition of the brain, it's not much different than, say, a pig's brain, a cow brain, or a, a monkey's brain. It consists mainly of 75% water. And if you look at the whole brain, 65% of the human brain is, consists of fat. But if you look at more detail, uh, the human brain consists of neuron, which is brain cell. And uh, scientists told us that the human brain, the adult human brain, consists no less than 100 billion brain cells. But the brain cell itself do not actually determine how good we are, how successful we are, how intelligent we are. What makes us intelligent, what makes us successful, is not only the, uh, the, the number of the neuron, but the number of connection, because each brain cell, each neuron, is capable of connecting with 10,000 other brain cells. And the, the bigger and the more connection we have, the more intelligent we get, the more successful we get. So for example, when they look at uh, Albert Einstein's brain, this is after he died, you know, his, his brain is preserved in the museum. Uh, his brain actually is smaller than much uh, that than the normal human brain, partly because he is old. But, but what, when they look carefully at the Einstein brain, what different between his brain and the normal brain of ordinary human? His brain consists of rich, very rich connection. Right? So the number of brain cells dies continually as we uh, get older and older, but the number of connections continue uh, growing as long as we use it. There is a saying in, the, in brain science that unless we use it, we will start to lose it. So, in 1981, the Nobel Prize for Science was uh, won by Professor Roger Sperry. He won the Nobel Prize because he discovered that uh, the two parts of the brain, the left and right side of the brain, have different specialization. The right brain specializes more on creativity, and the right brain, uh, the left brain, is specialized on logic. So mathematics, uh, language, numbers, and things like that are processed in the left side of the brain, whereas pictures, imagination, uh, are processed in the right side of the brain. So that, that's very important because you see, uh, we have two legs and we have two arms, and to be successful, we have to use both two arms and two legs. We have two eyes, we have to use both eyes. But we have two brains, left and right side. And unfortunately, much of our education system is now focusing on the left side of the brain, which is science, mathematics, language, and, and neglecting the other half, the creative part of our brain, the right side. Currently, there is a lot of talk about soft scale and hard scale. 
And uh, this has to do with the two sides of the brain. The heart scale, which is technical scale, which is management scale, is actually uh, the function of the left side of the brain. Whereas uh, leadership, communication scale, creative scale is the job of the right side of the brain. But we cannot uh, set all this or that. We cannot set all, we only do the, we only focus on the left, the, the heart scale, or we only focus on the sub. We need both. In fact, even when we're talking about engineering and we're talking about uh, science and so on, we have to marry the two. We have to marry both. Not, not, not just say, oh, this is hard scale, this is soft scale. We have to integrate both of them. But one thing we often forget, there is a small part of the brain called the amygdala. The amygdala is just a very small size, smaller than the size of a peanut, but this is the emotional center. We know now that emotional skills are more, more important than technical skill. In order to become very, very successful, we have to use our emotional skill. So my suggestion is not the hard scale, not the soft scale, but the hard scale and the soft scale together with the emotional scale. That make, make us a very successful person. That make us a happier person. So we have to use our brain properly. We must not abuse it by uh, taking drugs or taking too much alcohol. A little bit of alcohol is okay, you know, it's enjoyable. And I do that myself. But if you uh, become addicted to alcohol, it can damage our brain. And to the young people, I also would like to say that playing video game, you know, it's okay, it's a lot of fun. But if you get addicted to video game, it can damage your brain. And without a good brain, we cannot become successful. We also have to put something good in our brain. We have to uh, learn more and more new things. Uh, maybe we can learn meditation or yoga. Put something good. Go out to the forest and relax. Go out to the seashore and just be with nature. And that way we can uh, refresh our brain. Thank you very much.